Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Gaming Weekly Update. This is your host, Kieran, and welcome to another Let's Play. This is Let's Play The Grinch. So, Christmas is in 22 days from now, so I thought it'd be a bit of fun to like to Let's Play a Christmas game. So, this is The Grinch that I remembered as a kid. The other day, I live streamed um, The Christmas Adventure, the one that came out back in October, and um, I actually quite enjoyed it. So, I was in a Grinchy mood. So, yep, let's go and play this without any further delay. Oh, I got it! I have a great idea. This year, the Who's will pay! My precious gadget blueprints. All my inventions, my contraptions, my Machiavellian machines. <laughs> that, in fact, is the misanthrope scheme. Build gadgets from blueprints. Halt the holiday theme. What gadget should I build first? The Grinch Copter? With this, I can fly over the despicable Who's. Maybe the octopus climbing device to scale the walls? No, no, no. The rocket spring to perform magnificent jumps. Or better yet, one of my most treasured weapons. The rotten egg launcher to stink out my enemies or the slime gun to just stick it to them. My marine mobile. No, no, no. I know. Yes, this. My plans! My precious plans! I'll never be able to build my gadgets! But will this debacle make the Grinch stop and quit? Of course not. He growls and pledges. I'll stick with it. You know what, Max? Nothing's gonna stop us this year. I'll recover my plans piece by piece. And I swear to ruin the party for everyone! Even if I have to roam all over Hooland! So, let's begin with the worst part. Whoville! I have more than one crafty way to upset those irksome hooves. Okay, Max, we're ready. Let's creep down to Whoville. Let the main begin! So, yep, your traditional Grinch game, he just wants to ruin things for the Who's. But, yep, this is just a... I'm not going to be able to speak much in this one because it's going to be a lot of cutscenes, so... Darn! I forgot my keys. There should be a spare one in one of these boxes. The Grinch likes to break things with his robust behind. He'll flatten and smush to get out of a bind. This power is one that he completely controls. He'll pancake anything to attain all his goals. I'm not sure about that narrator, though. He doesn't sound like someone that would um, read a Dr. Seuss book. He sounds more like someone that would read a comic book story or something. Because he sounds quite manly and so heroic. And usually Dr. Seuss voices is more like this or something like that. But yeah, there we go. We just use this attack. Break over the... This game's kind of mixed as well. Some people love it and some people don't. But as a kid, I personally love it. And I still love it now. So before we go out there, we can come out here. With the Grinch's telescope. And this isn't really for anything. He just has different dialogues depending which button you press. I hate who's. That's when you press square. I hate Christmas. When you press X. My heart is like a pea. That's when you press circle. And then triangles just to escape. And as you can see, we Maxi is doing the same thing. Max does have a use later, so we're going to see him in a bit. Right, so we're just going to come through here and get this thing on the wall there. 
The strength of the Grinch is a legend in Whoville. There's nothing he can't move with Grinch muscle and will. Okay, so you stand next to it, hold triangle, and go left or right. Doesn't really matter which side you pull it, but that's how we do it. Hey, Max! Listen to me, boy. There's another spare key in the next room. Go get it! Max the brown dog is the mean one's right-hand mate. He obeys Grinchy orders, does not question his fate. This pup boldly ventures where the green one cannot. He approaches who strangers, explores a small spot. So, yep, you press select. Go, Max! You can now control Max. He doesn't really do anything. All he does is run about and... When you press the action button, he basically barks. And, um, so yeah, because we can control him, he can go through tight spaces like this. So there's the key. So, Grinch, why do you have keys and then you have them in the opposite room that you just locked yourself out of? That's just silly, man. Thanks, you bad boy. <laughs> you bad boy. But yeah, you can technically control Max, like, even if you're doing the Grinch. If you use the right joystick, you control Max. And you press it, he barks. So you can have them both running like this way. <laughs> to access the next room, please identify yourself with the breath analyzer. An anti who tool for which no blueprints exist is the smelly Grinch breath, which cannot be missed. It appears in the shape of a rancid green cloud <coughs> and can be used any time it's always allowed. This fog reveals things the naked eye can't see. Also, its rank odor weakens the enemy. So, yep, all you do is press square and you breathe into this thingy. Oh my! <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> You're definitely the Grinch. <laughs> You can pass. <laughs> it's so hilarious at the same time, but that's totally a Grinchy thing that he would do. Press the action button to cause Grinchy effects. This guarantees he will be a pain in who next. <laughs> okay, so yeah. We grab this, and we go down. With another cutscene, of course there is. At the heart of the Heartless One's cave is his pride, a master computer with Grinchy smarts inside. After I collect the plans that have blown away, I'll feed them to my processor, and there they'll stay. It will build my gadgets with just a click of its gears. Yep, so basically, you know those blueprints that shot out from the beginning cutscene? Um, you use those, like, if you get a certain number of them, you can actually build his gadgets into this machine here. So while I'm here, I may as well show you what's on the upper floor here as well. So we could go up onto this floor. But you can't access these doors yet because, as the narrator will tell you once you approach them... To open these super doors, he must do something first. Break all kinds of presents, make the packages burst. Once he's passed through this threshold, he'll be in a space filled with crazy games. It's a delirious place. Okay, as you heard, like, there's numbers on these doors. That's the amount of presence you have to destroy in order to open it. So, yeah, we'll see that once we're in the main story, of, well, the main world of the places right here. The Grinch has invented a vast vacuum system. Through its miles of tubes, he can get to the Who's who he feels have so dissed him. As we begin, just the path to Whoville is clear. But as the scheme falls in place, more routes will appear. So, yep. Um, I guess for now, we're just going to conclude this episode so we can do the adventures next time. This is just to introduce you to the game. So... I guess with that, that's going to conclude this episode. So thank you so much for watching. And as per usual, 
If you liked what you've seen, please like, comment, and subscribe. Remember to hit the bell if you want to see any more videos or any more live streams that me or Brad produce on his channel. I've been Kieran of Gaming Weekly Update, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.